guys so i'm gonna be making some chicken and dumplings in my crock pot here um i don't have chicken breast i bought all that chicken from kroger so i'm gonna use these drumsticks and my mom all used to make chicken and dumplings with uh chicken legs so that's what we're gonna do so i have about um two three four five six um chicken legs here and i will show you what i'll be adding to this so i'm gonna add some of this chicken broth here um this will make its own broth but i'm gonna go ahead and add one of these uh i'm gonna add pepper a little bit of salt not too much because that has kind of salt in it um i'm gonna add some of this how do you pronounce that sasson sasson i don't know seasoning and then i'm gonna add some garlic powder and some onion powder and then i'm also going to add one of these cream of chicken condensed soups so we have the garlic powder here and we're just gonna put quite a bit because we love garlic up in here um not a whole lot of this just about like that we have some onion powder well i said we did Um, a little bit of salt, not a whole lot. And then I want to add some of this pepper here. I've got y'all rigged up here, but I'm just going to pour this in here. And you don't even have to have, um, like you don't even have to stir it up if you don't want to. Just let it cook for a little bit and then stir it. So instead of just having to get a bowl and mix all this together, I'm just going to pour this in here. Right on top. I probably should have got one more, but I only got this one. And like so. And then I also have onion that I'm gonna put in there. I already got it diced up and my eyes are watering like crap. <clears throat> got that in there. And then I guess I'm gonna add all of this. I'm just gonna wing it um, and go from there. Just pour all this in there. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Um, I'm gonna cook this on high for like the first hour and then I'm gonna turn it down to low and then I'm gonna cook it for another four more hours and then I'll come back and show you how I'm gonna do the rest. I would normally do like, get a can of biscuits, but I forgot biscuits, but I think I have some Bisquick um, mix I'm, and I might use that or I just might just use regular old flour and do it myself. So we're gonna cook this for five hours total. That's what it looks like from here. And I already got it on high over here. Okay, so hey y'all, so the chickens, already cooked in the crock pot so i'm gonna take and i put it on this lid to let it cool off um so i'm gonna take this chicken and shred it up take the fat of it off oh i just dropped some of the juice that was totally set and straight there we go um probably just gonna do it in this cause I know y'all can't see, but I'm just going to take and get this off the bone here. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome right there, guys. I just totally spilt that juice. <clears throat> that was probably not a bright idea to do that to begin with, but instead of like letting it cool here on this, it would like leak because of the juice, but I put it on there and yeah, it's not a whole lot. So I will get that up in a minute. And 
and that just literally falls right off the bone. Ooh, that's hot. Make sure there ain't, <clears throat> ain't no bones in this. And my hands are clean, so no worries. Crap. Okay, <clears throat> hang on one second, guys. My phone's doing something crazy. Saying low battery. I've got to... I don't know if that was still filming or not, but it said low battery. Okay, so. I'm just gonna take and kind of shred this up. Probably should just take a knife and go through it, but. I love chicken. And it's okay if there's bigger chunks because I, I personally like my chicken to be a little bit bigger in pieces. Okay, so there's that. My chickens are out here wallowing in the dirt. It's been raining and they're wallowing in the dirt and they have dirt all over them, especially my white ones. You can see it. I don't know what they were thinking, but they, crap. But they have wallard in it. Okay, so I had on. to take out some of the onions because they they were way too much in there. Um, so this is the all the juice and broth that was left in that. I'm just gonna take and dump this in here. I'm thinking about adding another um, thing of chicken, cream of chicken, if I have it. I know I have cream of mushroom. I don't know if I have another cream of chicken, so I'll have to look and see. So I'm going to add one more of these in here to this. The chicken's in there, and I'll turn it up on high, and I want to make the dough for this. So. Okay, y'all. So for the dumplings that I'm going to be making, it's going to be just quick biscuit mix. I had the... Um, I had that cheddar cheese kind from that, is it kind of like the Red Lobster Biscuits, but I'm just going to do these. I was going to try those, but I was like, no, we better stick with this. So, um, it says all you have to do is add a half a cup of milk. this will be enough I may have to add another um, get that other bag and end up adding those anyways because this don't really look like it's gonna be enough Okay. 
I was thinking about just dropping them in there with a spoon. But if it would flatten out, I might need some more dough. No, I'm not. I'm just going to drop them in there. Screw it. I don't have time for all this because I want to go relax on the couch. Okay. Okay. So I added that other can of cream of mushroom in there. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bitty pieces like this and just drop them in. And I hope this is enough. <clears throat> but sometimes when I make dumplings, I very rarely make them. But when I do make them, either I put too much dough or I don't have enough dough. One of the two. Put those in there like so. Like I said, I normally spoon it in there, but I don't want them too big. This may not even turn out good. I don't know. I'm just, I had all that chicken that I needed to use and I, st I still put some in their freezer. So I figured I could make some uh, dumplings. Listen at her. But yeah, my chickens are out there wallering in the dirt. And my white chickens have that stuff all over them. I'm like, girls, what are y'all doing? I'm about to go up there and check on them and see what they're doing. Here in a minute. Y'all, I don't think this is enough dough. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So I had to get these. This is the cheddar garlic biscuit mix. All I got, I'm just going to go ahead and do this and give it a whirl and see how it tastes. I don't know. I mean, it's just like dough, like biscuit mix or whatever, so it shouldn't be. I'm just trying to use what I got here. I feel like this might need some more milk, but I might add just a little bit of water to it. Okay. I should have got those biscuits, but I forgot. Canned biscuits. When I went there that day, I have croissant rolls in here, but I don't want to use that because I have something I want to make with that. I need to go. I may have sausage here. I'm going to make some of that cream cheese stuff that I made for breakfast. Okay.
Katie's got a cough. Okay. Now this, I hope this tastes good, y'all. When I get these in here, I'm going to stir it a little bit and then close the lid on it and let them cook for about an hour. Hey, do you need to hunt you some medicine, sis? Her allergies or something's got her all worked up. Okay, now, friends. Now, friends and family. Let's give this a whirl here. So, we're going to... Lord, how mercy. Hang on. So, I'm going to... This is all wonky. Oh well. I'm going to um, stir these a little bit. And then I'm going to put this lid back on it and let it cook for about an hour.